Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can use spin tags in your email copy to make it more unique and also make sure that you land in people's inbox rather than spam or promotions folders. So what is spin tags? So basically spin tags is just text enclosed in curly brackets and separated by this vertical bar symbol. And what it does is it just takes one of the inputs that you put in and puts it into your text. So in this example, I have three variations, but you can actually add as how many ever you want. You can do two, you can do five. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't change the way this works. And uh, yeah, in instantly, one important thing to keep in mind is that you want to add random in the beginning of the variations, because uh, this then will make sure that all of those three will be randomly chosen. Uh, if you don't put random, it will just choose between the last two. And uh, yeah, even though it's not the end of the world, you still want to have random in the beginning to make sure that spin text works properly. So yeah, let's jump into instantly and see what this looks like in real life and how you can actually use this. So here's one copy I have that includes a pretty good amount of spin text. So the first place you can see it is already in the subject line. Um, so yeah. Uh, it also works in subject line. And if you have additional steps, don't worry about it breaking the thread because it will choose the same uh, subject line it chose in the step one for all other steps to make sure that uh, threading works correctly, even if you have uh, spin tags in your subject line. Um, so yeah, this is like the traditional way to use uh, spin tags. You put random in the beginning and then just variations of the same thing uh, in a different way. Um, so you can use synonyms. You can look it up online different ways to say the same thing uh, just to make sure it's a, as unique as possible and yeah jumping into the email copy itself the first thing here you see is like a special way to use spin tags it's called um, fallback variable and what this does is if you don't have a first name in your lead list for whatever reason it will choose there instead so a use case for this would be uh, if you still want to make sure that your emails sound natural, even though you might miss some kind of data that you put in. So let's say, for example, you have company name put in as a variable and the company name is missing. So instead of having just a blank spot there, uh, you can uh, input something that takes its place when it's missing. So it still sounds natural. Uh, so in that case, you don't put random in the beginning and you just format it like this. Uh, Moving on from there is another example of uh, using uh, synonyms. Same way to say different things, just to make sure it's super unique. Uh, so as you can see here, handle, manage, deal with sales. Uh, and yeah, increase, boost, raise, all synonyms to make it as unique as possible. And then in the end, I also have included call to action as a spin text. So this is entire sentences that all say the exact same thing, but in a different way. Um, and yeah, that's basically what spin text looks uh, in real life. And one way you can actually make sure in instantly that it all works correctly is by clicking the preview email button uh, in the bottom here. Uh, so as you can see, it fills in all the spin taxes I put in. Quick Q, Bridget, hi Bridget. I'd love to find out more about the way you manage sales at company name. Uh, and yeah, so basically you can just make sure that the spin tax works. And uh, every time you close it and preview this email again, it will like again randomize it. So you can uh, make sure that it really works the way you want it to work. And also you can just double check that all the spin taxes together also sound natural. And uh, yeah, one interesting thing that you can also check with your copy is going to this site. I will uh, link it in the descrip description as well. So you can basically copy your you copy your email here, and uh, yeah, you have to take out those random in the beginning because uh, it will also count as a variation here, and you don't really want that because those those won't actually be in the email. So I've taken out all the randoms and used the same exact copy that I just showed you within instantly, and as you can see, it will have seven hundred twenty nine different variations of this same email. So already pretty low effort, just adding in a few synonyms here and there a pretty short copy as well. You will already have over 700 different variations of this email. So you can actually see the power of uh, power of spin text and how you can uh, make sure that your emails are super unique. So if you add in more variations here, this number will rise exponentially. So you could reach thousands pretty easily. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you use spin text. You can 
pretty easily make sure that all your emails that are going out are unique. And also the reason you want this to happen is because there are spam filters that are checking for email body copy. And if they see like, let's say a thousand emails have been sent today that are exactly the same, uh, those will be flagged as spam and you will probably end up in spam as well. But using a ton of spin tags, those systems will not detect that this email is the same because it's uh, properly spin taxed and it will be uh, unique enough to be considered like a unique email. And this way you can make sure that you can send out bigger volumes of email without getting stuck in spam and uh, yeah, keeping your deliverability high.